What is up to all my people? The intro is for my YouTube channel. I'm putting this on my YouTube channel. I had to tell that to my public speaking class. But today, we have a little quick review of my HP ProBook 445 14 inch laptop that I got from the school for the Frisky. So yeah, hope y'all enjoy. So some of the specs that I really appreciated about this pro book that I got for free at the school uh, is that it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So to me, it's gonna be more than capable of lasting the four years that I need it to last it. Maybe even longer if I, you know, keep the system pretty consistent with uh, schoolwork mainly and I'm um, not overusing it. But I do indeed use the processor that it has to run games like Fortnite and the finals that are made by Epic. I also have Steam up here so I could download games and run them pretty efficiently with this uh, Pro Book. Sometimes I have little minor crashes and things of that nature, but for the most part, it's a pretty healthy computer with a pretty good processor. And the RAM is the main part that I'd be concerned about because I love having multiple applications open, as y'all can see with the Discord and things of that nature. And also, I can use the ports that I love about this that my MacBook doesn't have. It has a USB port, an Ethernet port on this side. And it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, HDMI port, and two more USB ports and a USB-C port all on this side along with the charging port. So it has multiple ports you can use without having to buy a connector, making this a very, very uh, reliable laptop, as one can say. You don't really need many connector pieces. All you really need is the charger and you can, you know, if somebody has a presentation you wanna pull up, all you have to do is plug in your USB or the HDMI directly into your computer without having to buy something extra like the new MacBook that I have, um, my MacBook Air. So to get into the display, they have a HDR display. They also have a nightlight feature where you can turn, I guess it'll minimize the blue light and help your eyes at nighttime. Cause um, yeah, this is, blue light is very harmful to your eyes if you're staring in the dark. So I just want y'all to know that. You also wanna keep uh, this on at night. Keep your brightness down, which mine is up all the way right now because I got my overhead light on in my room. Uh, they also have pretty good display resolution. You can go to the highest display resolution, which is 1080p, which is pretty standard for this time, but uh, in the next couple of years, it's gonna go up. So you have different graphic options. Of course, they have their own preset, um, preset and, apps install, but you can also delete these, which I really do love about Windows. You can delete all the preset apps if you want, clear it out, get some space, get some storage. You can also, you know, most people use extended storages when they run out of storage. So this came with 250 gigabyte storage, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I used a bunch of it just by really mainly just Fortnite to be real. And there's other software that's downloaded on the computer, which you can see. You know, I think I can just get rid of it if I want, uninstall all these uh, pre-installed apps. But for the most part, to keep the computer running the way uh, Windows wants it to run, you want to keep most of the pre-installed apps up there. Not stuff like the assistant and things, but you see how less of storage it is. Those are literally kilo, um, kilobytes. Those aren't really major major rows and why my storage is gone. The biggest rows are down here, which is my OneDrive and you know, other things. You also have a Bluetooth feature up here. I have my headphones connected. Uh, those are just like, if I wanna connect my headphones right now, I can listen to my headphones. Uh, pretty good Bluetooth. You can hook up multiple things, mouses, keypads. Uh, I even hook up my PS4 controller for when I wanna play Fortnite to it. Uh, it's pretty. Pretty cool device. Uh, overall, I give the device a good seven out of 10. Really, I, I would give it an eight out of 10, but I would want a faster processor. Uh, probably a little bit more storage for a device I would use constantly. That's why I have my MacBook. But 
Uh, I really do like this computer for a school computer. So I think JCSU did me justice and I would highly recommend the HP ProBook 445 to anybody who wants just a, you know, a regular work computer. It's pretty reliable, pretty sturdy, uh, not too heavy and um, pretty durable. I've dropped this thing a couple of times. It folds all the way flat. So let's just say you uh, you not get in it, just, you know, it's pretty pretty good, man. So overall, I give this a I give it an eight. I give it an eight out of ten. So yeah, uh, hope y'all enjoyed my little review. I hope you enjoyed the review of the HP uh, Mac Pro Book, the HP Pro Book four four five. It's been your boy Two Cheesy TV, and I'm out.